Here's everything you need to know about the NordVPN app and its features. This episode will cover the latest Windows, Mac OS, and tvOS platform updates. Hey, we have some exciting updates for our Windows app. Let's start with VPN and virtual locations. We introduced virtual locations a few months ago and recently added virtual locations identifiers throughout the app. So, wherever you see our locations, whether on the map, the server list on the dashboard, or in auto-connect settings, these locations will be marked as virtual everywhere. Next up, MeshNet. We revamped the MeshNet feature view, which includes several changes. All devices, your own and external devices linked with other users, will be shown in a single list from now on. Additionally, online and offline devices will be color-coded, dark gray for online devices and light gray for offline devices. If you want to completely remove your Windows device from MeshNet rather than just turn the feature off, you can now do that directly from the app. Keep in mind that removing a device from MeshNet will delete all its links to other devices and wipe its file transfer history. Lastly, we made a few changes to our file sharing functionality. Right from the dashboard, file transfers can now be initiated even if peers are offline. We've also added a couple of additional statuses for file transfers. When finishing or resuming a transfer, you might see finalizing or verifying statuses for larger files. This is important for larger files as our app needs to verify the file's checksum to ensure everything is okay with the file you have sent or received. If you are sending many files at once, the queue status may appear for some files, so some transfers will need to wait until others are completed. That's all for MeshNet and Windows. Let's move on to the macOS updates. As you probably noticed, we introduced a new set of NordVPN virtual locations. So these newly accessible locations give the ability to establish a network where physical servers are limited. These virtual locations operate through dedicated physical servers outside the target country. After our testing, we can see that virtual locations in some cases perform even better than physical, so you don't have to worry about your VPN internet speed. To make it easier for our users to locate these new servers, we added the label virtual next to the server country. Hey everyone! Last year we introduced NordVPN for Apple TV OS, and we're constantly trying to make things even better. I'm more than excited to introduce our brand new CityList feature, which we just launched. The CityList feature lets you see how many cities are available in a given country, right on your homepage. Hence, if there's only one city, its name will be displayed. Accessing the city list is easy. Navigate to the country and press down. When you're in, you will see cities displayed. Here you can quickly connect to an entire country by clicking the Quick Connect or choosing a specific city. But remember, we're always working on exciting new features. See you next time. Stay tuned for real-time insights and news. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more NordVPN updates and videos.